Hey guys, it's the Faceless Beanie and welcome to my dev stream summary of dev stream number 134. This dev stream was focused on Empyrean and I highly recommend you go watch the entire thing if you have the time, especially for gameplay footage. Without further ado, let's get right into it. After Rising Tide, there's more clan research to be done. The Railjack will have basic components which can be improved via clan research. The research is split into guns, engines and reactors into three tiers, with tier 3 being the best for now. This research will be completed as a clan and not individually. Next up, Avionics. Avionics are basically Railjack mods which are split into three types. Battle Avionics are basically the Railjack's abilities. You can equip three different ones into three slots and they will work similarly to a Warframe's abilities. Integrated avionics are passive stat boosts for the Railjack. There's different manufacturers for these avionics, which will provide different attributes. Tactical avionics are focused on battle situation management. These will be the avionics you cater to your specific objective. Avionics are fit into grids. You can upgrade both the grids and the avionics using avionic endo, which is earned by playing Railjack. Next, the payload. These are resources you can take with you when you go out with the railjack. The ship will utilize these resources for shields, abilities and cannons. Intrinsics are basically upgradable attributes of railjack which utilize intrinsic points. Intrinsic points are earned based on your skill and your individual progress. You can play railjack without owning a railjack by queuing to join a crew. If you own a railjack, you can host your own crew. Finally, once you're in the midst of battle on your railjack, you can bring up a tactical menu which allows you to trigger one ability of you or your teammates' warframes anywhere on your ship via the map. And that's about it. The rest of the dev stream was focused on gameplay, so for that I highly recommend you go watch the dev stream linked in the description down below, it's well worth your time. With that, I hope you enjoyed this summary and I hope this helped you out. This is the Faceless Beanie, signing out.